The 1960s were pivotal not only for Jim Rosenquist, but also for all of the pop artists. It was a, a nascent movement, hadn't yet been named, but you had these upstart artists, Rosenquist, Warhol, Lichtenstein. They all were pretty inspired, authentic thinkers, and although they were all grouped together as pop artists, it was a label that none of them liked because they all handled pop imagery so differently. Among the pop artists, Jim's work was more subtle, more challenging, a little more esoteric. And for this reason, it continues to be fresh and surprising, and new generations are looking to it in new ways. The 60s are what set him apart and put him on the scene. His idea really was always to surprise himself and the viewer. He started out with a lot of questions and it was a big mystery to him what he was doing. He just wanted to explore rather than come to some finite point. So kind of the mystery was the goal. He's constantly using what's going on around him as combustibles, as topics in his work. It was as easy for him to pull from his personal experience as it was to pull from what was in the headlines or what he thought should be in the headlines. I think modern life was kind of a mystery and we were kind of assaulted when we are still assaulted with images, and so we only see little snippets of what really is happening. And I think that was the reason he used the collage form, because it was a way to translate the dislocated atmosphere of the time. And there are really very personal moments when he's trying to figure out what he wants to do as a painting, as an image. So it's almost like looking at the inside of his head. Jim's works were not only speaking about what it means to be an artist, but they were also very much responding to the times in the 60s, the politics of the 60s, what he saw happening. And as he worked through the 60s, his work became more political and also more complex. So every painting is really containing so many layers of meaning. He really loved doing the room paintings that the viewer could walk into. And Jim's were actual artworks that he wanted the viewer to be the performer, which was kind of a new thing at the time. This incredible work, Forest Ranger from 1967, is just a superb example of his painting on Mylar strips. It really is a walkthrough painting. It is immersive, not only conceptually, but physically. People always want to jump into the meaning of a painting or jump into a painting, and so he's like, here you go. I love this work because it's uh, so similar to the way many artists are working today. It's very experiential. The meaning is fairly clear in this one, and the politics are very available. Jim's work still speaks about politics to people today. It's very interesting to see how the political situation today is similar in some ways as it was in the 60s because we were struggling with some of the same problems. Mm -hmm.